Hey guys, it's AK Pro Films, and on this video, I'm just going to give you another Xcode tutorial. Since my last Xcode tutorial went pretty well, I'm just going to give you another one. So if you want any more Xcode tutorials after this, just let me know in the comments below or on my Twitter page at AK Pro Films. So let's get started. Alright, so before we actually dive into Xcode, let me just show you what this app will do. So this app on the main homepage will have a uh, segmented control, and from there we can use that segmented control to switch texts and labels. And we can also have a switch that can hide the label or show the label. And these are actually very helpful tools that we can incorporate into other applications. So let me just show you how these work. Alright, so let's open up Xcode here, so let's search for it or, or go into our Applications folder. So let's open that up, and let's create a new Xcode project, and let's create a single view application. Just like the same thing that we did in our previous iOS development tutorial. So now let's just name our project. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Segmented Controller. Alright, so there we go, and we can change our organization name, our company identifier. You can also change, you can't change bundle identifier, just leave all those as is. I'm just going to make an iPhone app, and let's use storyboards, automatic reference counting, and include unit tests. Alright, next, and let's choose where to save it. I'm just going to save it in my Xcode folder here. Press create. In here, our application will open up. So let's just maximize this space that we have by just extending our windows. And uh, let's change the supported interface orientations. Let's change it from landscape and turn those off and just have it on portrait. All right, you can change all the status bar look and all that, but I'm just going to leave that because it looks the best where it is. So let's just lay out our application by going to our main storyboard.storyboard. All right, so here is our view controller. So now let's drag in the items that we need for our application. So we don't need any of those, but we need a label. I'll lay out all this before we start coding. And we need a segmented controller. And we also need a switch. And just to make it look great, let's include, let's look through this list. Let's include a navigational bar. And let's also include a toolbar at the bottom. And let's just delete this pre-installed button there. All right, so let's just name this whatever we want. I'm just going to name it Segmented Controller because that's what I named my application. All right, so there we go. I named it successfully. And also, I want to put this at the top. So let's, op uh, let's option and click and drag just to make a duplicate release the mouse button and there we go we have a copy and let's just put that segmented controller in this toolbar but first let's just change the color so we can make it suit our style I'm just gonna make it green for today All right so there we go let's change this to green as well and let's put our segmented controller in this toolbar by dragging and dropping it all right, so there we go. We have it successfully in our toolbar, but let's just make it a, uh, let's choose the segmented controller over here and change it to a bar. And let's change the color to this green color so it matches our toolbar. All right, so there we go. It looks pretty sweet and we have it in our toolbar. And let's just move our label and let's also put this switch in this toolbar so just drag and drop it in there and let's go and put a fixed space bar right here put it before it where that blue line is so we can have a space let's just put it on the right side all right and we also want another label so we can just write hide the label so let's find the label and let's drag and drop that down here and let's just say hide the label question mark there we go and let's just put that on the left side and let's just name it something else. So let's change it to our custom up here. Go 
go to family and change it to future of. So there we go, and let's extend it so we can have all of the type in there. Alright, nice. And let's change this just to make it look a little better. So custom, font family, Futura. And uh, let's just increase the size. Let's just change it to 25. All right, there we go. And let's just center it. Perfect. So we have the basic layout of our application there. And let's just center it there so it looks nice. And there we go. We have it all set up. But nothing will work. Well, it will work, but nothing will do anything because we haven't programmed anything. So let's just try and run the application. All right, our iOS simulator will boot up down here. And uh, here's our application that really doesn't do anything. So before we actually begin, begin coding, I just need to clarify one more thing. So let's go click on our switch over here. And let's change it from the state on to off. And let's change the tint color just to white so it doesn't have any blue tint to it. We can change it to green if we want as well. All right, so now we finished uh, our laying out. Now let's open up the assistant editor and begin coding. So let's drag over this view controller here. And let's go on our keyboard and control drag from this segmenting controller. Drag and drop that. I want it to be an outlet, so let's name it my segmented my segmented controller. There we go. So we have that and let's just press connect. And now we also want the switch so let's control drag the switch onto our .h file. Let's name it my switch. Connect that. Let's also put this label in our .h. So let's do that and type in my label. And now let's just press connect. And there we go. We have our basic three IB outlets. And now let's just go into our .m file and let's link up all of our actions. So let's go over to our segmented controller and control drag and drop that into our .m file. And let's name the action switch the segmented controller. I'm just going to change switch the SC and then let's just press connect. And there we go. And now we also want the switch. So let's, con or let's control drag in our action and write switch the switch. All right, so there we go. We have our two actions in there. And that's nice and laid out. Now let's just write our code. So for the switch, the SC or segmented controller, let's write an if statement and enter. And we want our condition. So we want to do our segmented controller. So let's do that. My segmented controller, which is our IB outlet. Let's do that. And let's put a dot selected segment index. So when something is selected, that will be changed to what's selected. And if it equals zero, so if it equals this first one, or known as zero, it will display the label. So if the segmented controller dot selected segment index, which one is selected, if it equals the first one or zero, it will do this bit of code. So let's do my label, my label dot text equals at because that's a string let's name it first and end it with a semicolon so let's copy all of that and let's enter and paste that in and change that to one because that's one and let's name it to second second there we go and also before we get too far let's just name this label first so when the application open up when it opens up, it'll be first because that is our first one that is selected when the application opens. So now let's code our switch. Let's also use an if statement. And let's do if my switch dot on. So if the switch is on, it will do this bit of code. It'll do my label, my label dot hidden equals if it's on, we want it to be hidden. So we do yes. So it will be hidden. Yes, the label will be hidden. And let's do an else in uh, brackets there. And let's do my label 
dot hidden equals no. So if it's off, like on the on the toolbar down here, it will be shown, and if it's on, it will be hidden. All right, so we have all of our code here, which is this little portion right here. And now let's just run it to see how the application works. All right, so here it opens up and it says first, but if we press on second, it'll switch to second. And we can just change it with the segmented controller. And also you can add multiple sections. I'll show that before I end this video. And it says hide the label. It will be hidden when you press on the switch. All right, so before I end this video, let me show you how to add other segments to the segmented controller. All you have to do is go up to the segmented controller and change the segments. And you can add more segments here. So it says segments. You can add as many as you want. And you just add multiple if statements by using the example that I showed you earlier with only two. You can add multiple as well. So I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial about segmented controllers and the switch. And if you want more uh, tutorials just like this, please comment below if you have any questions or if you want more of these tutorials. And also just go on my Twitter page at Films. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned a lot. And I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I will see you in the videos to come. Thanks for watching.